Hey YouTube family, it's your girl Mel and I'm coming at you guys with another natural hair video. In this video, I walk you guys through my wash and go. I literally have not done a wash and go in like four or five years. So, hmm, I did not know how it was gonna come out but I'm so happy at how it came out. It looks so cute and so pretty and I only use two products. So if you guys wanna get into this definition, into this volume, okay, into all this black girl magic, please subscribe right here and let's keep on watching okay youtube family so this is my hair fresh out of some cornrows i had it in for a wig install and now i'm gonna go in the shower and give it a nice good wash and then we're gonna get right into this wash and go so i am fresh out the shower and this is how my hair looks fresh out okay i haven't dried it at all or put any kind of towel to my hair because i want it to stay as wet as possible so I'm just gonna, so y'all gonna see me get a lot of drips everywhere. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is part my hair to where and how I want the wash and go to be styled. So I feel like I want it to be at this side, so I'm gonna put a part here. All right, so now that I found the part exactly how I want it to be when it's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off. All right, so now that I have my hair sectioned into four parts, that is how I'm going to move with my wash and go. So first things first, you wanna make sure that your hair is really saturated, which mine is, being that I just got out of the shower, it's still dripping down my neck. But just in case my hair gets dry as I move along, I do have a bottle filled with spray, a spray bottle filled with water here. First things first, I'm going to apply a leave-in conditioner and I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. You guys know I love this stuff. It's in my last video as well with the 4C Mini Twist. You guys go check that video out. I'm going to link it right here. Um, but yeah, this is the leave-in that I'll be using today. Alright. Okay. You'll see me getting all dripped up over here. So I'm going to go ahead and really melt this stuff into my hair. I love it because it elongates my hair and it is super, super easy to melt. I'm going to comb this in using my Carve Naturals detangling brush. So you guys see how this product really stretches my hair out. So now I'm going to detangle in pieces. Each section is going to be in a different piece. I'm gonna use a elastic band scrunchie to hold this hair out the way. Then we're gonna go through it. Perfect. And to get my definition, I'm gonna be using my other favorite guys I am getting wet I'm gonna be using my other favorite which is the wet line extreme gel love this stuff so I'm just gonna start defining my hair with the gel You 
gonna put a lot of gel at the root. I'm gonna go back in with my carved natural brush. see how that curled up really pretty you want to make sure it's really in there and on every strand Now I'm going to move on to the next section. I really feel that my hair is getting a little bit dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and squirt some water. This is the last part of the section. how beautiful and defined my curls are and you can see I have such a mix of different textures so now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the back okay guys so I finished the back 
and the side all I have left is the front here and doing this I definitely noticed that my curl pattern is all over the place like here it has no real curl pattern, and here it has all the definition which is good since I made it part that stands out the most so that's how it looks and I can show you the back So now I'm going to work on the front part of my hair. It's a little dry, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more water to the front as well as leave-in conditioner. The section of the part that I'm gonna work with right now, which is here, and then I'm gonna add my gel. Always wanna put a good amount at the roots so that you can define from root to tip. And I'm just gonna rub my fingers to it. And then use my detangling brush to make sure everything gets covered. And you can see how that curled up so beautifully. But again, this side of my hair has no real definition for whatever reason. And so to help my hair with that issue I like to pick up pieces and define it out like small pieces like that Okay guys, so now that it is all finished, 
I am going to actually go in with a diffuser. Lord knows I've never used this thing before. Never. I've always thought this was for white girls. But this is for us, y'all. I'm going to put it on a very low heat and I'm going to diffuse it and try to get it to dry a little bit faster and kind of keep the curls from frizzing out with the, you know, the long wait with drying. So here we go. Okay guys, this is the finished results of my 4C wash and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.